our concept of the phone has really changed, hasn't it? This is really a little computer, but it's still a phone. And our course, Staying in Front of Your Customers with the Phone, is designed to help you understand the power of the phone. Because often in this digital age of email this and texting that, we forget what it means to pick up the phone and talk to somebody. Where you can actually hear their voice, hear their tone, and get a sense. How many of you, I really under, you know, want to ask this question, how many of you can tell when the person you're talking to on the phone is working on his computer? I bet you every one of you can. Because it's so apparent from the voice of the person doing it, you can tell they're not listening to you. And the phone is a great listening tool, which our course really covers to help you understand your business in relationship to the phone. As an example, we do a lot of emails in our company for our clients. We're doing email blasts. And as you know, with email, there's an opt-out function. So people can opt out. So we received a stinging email from, from a, a person we sent to on behalf of our client saying, you know, just complaining, opt out, where did you get my name, complaining. And, you know, our programmers ran over to me and said, you know, we got this thing. I personally like to take that opportunity to pick up the phone and call the person because you never know, what, that's the beauty about the phone, you never know who's on the other end of the line. So this was a project manager at a major retailer in the United States, uh, absolutely controlling many, many buildings and our clients' products go into buildings. So I pick up the phone and I call the guy, we'll call him Ron, and, and I start saying, um, Jim Nowakowski, I'm calling on behalf of my client, I apologize, da, 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 da. He immediately stops me and he says, how did you get my name? I just don't want to talk, but how did you get my name? And I explain, well, we subscribe to the Dodge Network, McGraw-Hill, it's, it's a public database that lists all the construction projects, I'm sure many of you are familiar with it, in the United States. And I said, well, it's Dodge McGraw Hill, da 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 and he stopped, and his tone immediately changed. And he said, I, yeah, I can't, Jim, I can't tell you how grateful I am for you sharing me that. I get so many calls and so many emails, and it's so intrusive. And the fact that you called me, and we engaged in a two-minute conversation, a wonderful experience. At the end of the conversation, he says, oh, by the way, Jim, I'm not the guy you want. The guy you want is Ron. And he gives me the guy's name that controls all these buildings in the United States for my client. How do you do that in email? How do you do that anywhere except by picking up the phone? Our course, Staying in Front of Your Customers with that phone, with the phone, is going to help you understand these techniques and targeted techniques to engage people when you pick up the phone and drive your business. And we really would like you to attend these, whether online or whether in person, Try to come to this if you really want to learn how to use that phone to your advantage. Thanks for listening.